But, um, you know, Framingham High junior David Kovarubias likes almost everything like, about you know, field hockey. And the ball can go in your direction any moment. But what Kovarubias didn't like about the first three years on the team was having to wear the standard field hockey uniform, a 12-inch skirt. Wearing this was a little bit cruel, but it was the rule. So I couldn't really speak against it. Now, under a new policy recently adopted by the school committee, Kovarubias will be able to wear shorts, and other students will be able to wear uniform styles in which they feel most comfortable. An agreement within our league. Athletic director Paul Spear says the policy will also, for the first time, let students choose which teams they want to play on, not just for officially co-ed sports like field hockey, but also for gender-specific sports like softball and baseball. I think if somebody is going to go through the uh, the lengths of you know uh, of coming out, we owe it to them to let them. Uh, play on the team that uh, they feel most comfortable on. Such crossovers will be allowed only for students who've officially changed their gender identity on school forms. Those players will be able to dress and shower privately if they choose, and so will their teammates. Spear says he's heard few complaints so far, but knows the real test will come in the fall when players take the field. Policy is one thing, uh, getting people, changing people's hearts, changing people's minds, uh, that's the hard part. The school says uh, players will still have to make a team based on skill, and if they don't, they won't be able to try out for another team in the same sport. Live in Framingham, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.